Do you know this simple trick to rewrite a linear sum of sine and cos in the form of R sine? This is R transformations, it's to do with the addition rule, but there's a very quick way of doing this. Let me show you how. Now, once we have taken into account the form, which if the first term is sine, the addition rule formula needs to be sine as well. To find the coefficient r, all we do is Pythagoras to the coefficients of sine and cos. The coefficient here is root 3. We need to square that. And then the coefficient of cos x is uno. Root 3 squared is 3 plus 1 quattro. Root that is 2. Then to find alpha is very simple. We do inverse tan of the second number, uno, divided by the first number, root 3 which in this case is root 3 over 3. Inverse 10 of that is 30 degrees or pi over 6 if we're in radians. And that's it. We are left with 2 sine x plus 30 degrees. Nice. <laughs> Save this video and share it with a friend who you think would benefit from this information.